Hello guys! Recently Rust 1.29 was released, congratulations to the core team, and even they say it's a fairly small release, I found for myself a really huge thing, it's a Clippy, and now it's able to run on stable Rust. As far as I know, previously it was possible only on Nightly. Just a huge thing for me, and it changes a lot. So I went through some of my open source projects on GitHub and changed my driver setup and uh, I decided that this episode I can dedicate to uh, continuous integration setup. How do you set some links in your project? So I'm going to create a project here. It's regular Hello World project. And I want to add Travis YAML file here. Will you stable rust? Will be just cargo test. We don't we don't have any test bus, but at least we we'll ensure that something can be compiled. Yeah. Now let's commit it. And uh, now I'm gonna go to GitHub and uh, create a new repo for this project. Now I'm going to push it to GitHub, and it must be here. Yeah, it is. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Travis CI and add this. To I'm going to activate my new project. I press sync button, so I need to sync all my repos. And I press this toggle to activate Travis for my new project. Now I have no builds yet. I'm gonna trigger one trigger one manually. So a new build started and it may take a while. Okay, it's green. Now what I want to do is to add uh, a Rust FMT check. So first we need to install it as a Rust as a component. I define I write it in install section. Rust up component add Rust F Rust F T review and uh, I'm going to do the same for clipping.
Now I I want to show you how Rust FMT works. Uh, so it's a link that checks uh, code formatting. Let's do something nasty here. And uh, if you run it with Garga FMT, uh, it produces nothing, but it fixes uh, the file automatically. So we want to run it only to check uh, the files, but not to change them. So for that, we provide option check. And we need to change it back. And it prints uh, the difference, so how it is now and how it must be. And also what is important for us, it uh, returns process status 1, which is non-zero. It means that uh, our build will fail. So I'm going to execute this script as part of my build. Now let's take a look at Clippy. Uh, Clippy is a link that uh, checks some kind of logical errors. Let's do something nasty. Let's I don't know, define some variable here, which is not used. So Clippy must detect this error and let us know. So uh, this does not happen because I'm not sure, but uh, something is being cached and just Clippy is not really running. Uh, I found some workaround for this to call touch main or touch lib first and then run clippy. So actually, uh, what I want to do is to run clippy always. So I, I want to be sure that it actually does something and checks. So uh, I'm gonna use this command to ensure that Clippy always runs. Second thing, it even it detects warning, it still returns zero, which means for us that build will not fail. So we need somehow to make it return uh, non-zero if there's a warning. Uh, it took for me a while to investigate this, but if we provide option D, with, with mean, option D means deny, then it could be some linked name. But what we really want is to apply this option for all possible warnings or for all possible links. So if we define it like this, it converts all warnings into errors. You see now it's red and uh, what is important, it returns non-zero status. So this line I'd like to execute in my Build. Okay, so we are ready to commit. Yes. Yeah. I keep it broken on purpose to ensure that actually everything works. So our Links work as expected.
Oh. I committed to master. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to create a new branch and push this branch Now I'll open a pull request. And we see that our build is running here. And now again we need to wait a while. So our build is red, that's expected. And now we can see actually why it's red. So uh, Rust FMT failed and Clippy failed as well. That's good, that's what we expected, our setup works. And now let's just fix it. Build is green and we can safely merge it. Yes. And uh, a little thing I want to add it's uh, Travis runs these scripts in parallel. Sorry, not in parallel, but it runs all of them even if the first fails. And if you use Jenkins or you want to save some resources, you may probably run them together in one chain. Uh, it doesn't look good, but the point is that you may want to run just FMT first, and if FMT fails, you don't want to run all the rest. What is cool is that uh, FMT doesn't install any dependencies, so it must be relatively quickly and if it fails you you wouldn't like to install all dependencies and compile something so that's it for today and uh, have a nice day